All right, I got an interesting, I think a really interesting trip planned today. Hold on, let me video this real quick. Yeah, look at this water, it's amazing. There's a big old bass right there looking at me. All right, I'm out on a little lake today. I'm out here visiting um, family and we came out and my sister and her uh, brother-in-law and kids, we came out and um, they found this trail. We walked around the trail and there was around this little bit of lake and there was fish literally everywhere. Like I saw so many fish. Oh, there's a, uh, this bass over here is chasing off a little bass. There's like so much stuff. I don't know if they're gonna bite or not. So I got my kayak in here. I don't know if I'm even supposed to have a kayak in here, but uh, it's in here. And this is an awesome little lake, clear water. Um, it's kind of hot right now. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. There's so much fish. I feel like I have to catch a bunch, so. <laughs> I watched it. Fish number one. There's, there's a, I think there's just probably thousands of little bass, but I saw some bigger ones too. Mmm, monsters. Just a little, little bit bigger there. Got one. Oh, nice. <laughs> Dude, he's some good bluegill. So far, the pile diver is getting some fish. That's a nice bluegill. There's some. I keep throwing the bass lure, but I keep seeing these big old bluegill. It's like, this is like a, uh, like a, like a Florida lake or something where it's just grass and just clear and there's just fish everywhere. <laughs> I may just have to stick with the panfish. What do we got? Oh, there's a green sunfish. I thought I saw green sunfish in here. So we know there's largemouth, bluegill, and green sunfish and they got big enough mouth to hit kind of anything so if i find some of these they're they're fun to catch oh what i got what i get <laughs> little green sunfish i've been out 20 minutes i've seen a couple of good bass but they they i don't know what they're doing they're swimming all over the place so i'm gonna keep trying to fish for them as we just work right around this bank might change up some lures and stuff. <laughs> Man, this water is so clear. I'm watching these fish follow them. I'm letting it drop. Oh, there's a couple decent bass. And I'm watching them follow it down for six, seven, eight feet. Oh, it's a little better. It's a little better one. There we go. Now that's getting, we're starting to get to respectable size. That's a good 12, 13 inch large mouth. We're getting a few, starting to get some bites on these young dingers around through here. Plus, People that are fishing off the bank, you can't really get to this area over here. It's full of trees and logs and and tons of fish, that's for sure. There we go, there we go. Eat it. He's gonna eat it. Come on. I saw that one come up and hit it. See if he stays on here. Pretty strong little bass. Another little girl on a yum dinger. I was reeling it over and I watched him follow it up and I just let it sink and he sucked it in. 
Oh man, what is that? Oh, it's a drum. We saw some drum out here earlier. I saw a big fish underneath me with a drum. Wish I'd get him to bite though. Hey, look guys are putting up a fight today. There's just so many bass in here. There we go. Oh, that's a good bluegill. Put on a little wax worm. Could, took me a couple of times to sink it out there. Nice, pretty bluegill. This little pond is just loaded with some good fish. I couldn't get any of the big ones yet, but um, check out these bluegill. That's nice. There we go. Oh man, these things are strong. Holy cow. Nice. It's, it's taking a little bit to get them. They're not super easy to, they're not just hammering it. But underneath me, I'm sitting here, I've seen some shad go by. I've seen several, like two and three pound drum at least. There's bass swimming around, there's little sunfish. And then there's a couple of these, there's some of these big bluegills. <laughs> That's a cool fish. I got these wax worms on a, like a, I think it's a 164th, 148th ounce little jig head and I'm just sinking it slow and trying to keep a little bit of tension on it as I'm sinking it and um, that's how I've caught those two they just I feel a little bit of pull and I just set the hook and it's been the bigger ones oh there we go those were hungry those I saw those come over at it <laughs> these are all good ones. I see a lot of little ones but the, the bigger whenever they do hit it's the bigger ones hitting Dude, these things are strong. I got this on my medium light set up. They're not, they're not pulling drag, but if they had my ultra light, it'd be all over the place. That's cool. Wax worm, and then all of a sudden it just disappeared. Oh man. Dude, these are slab bluegill. Oh. oh, good one. Man, it's a beautiful fish. All right, I can't leave without throwing a couple bigger lures. This is not a huge one, but like a swim bait type lure. I know there's a good size fish in here. I don't know what if what they're doing, but I got a couple bigger lures to throw. Let's see if they'll hit one. Well, I had several fish like come out and look at it. I couldn't get them to hit this thing. Oh, I got something. I got a bluegill. Oh man, I, I think I had a good bass hit at this one. And I've had two or three little pecks and I think they've all been from sunfish. This sunfish came up and just rammed it. Little bluegill here. What was that? <laughs> Not a bigger one, but it got another fish. That little reaction making them hit it. I like this little lure. It's pretty lightweight. Doesn't sink that fast. You can swim it a bunch of different ways. It's pretty, pretty neat. Dude, dude, these bluegill are chunky. That's a good one. I was, you know, bass fishing for a while, and I just looked over here and saw some, some more big sunfish. Got to make a couple casts. 
where that is. There is good. Turn around, good. Gotcha. So it's got to come around there. Log. Goodness. Oh man. They don't even look that big out there in the water. They don't. They look just like you know smaller fish. Then when they're fighting, it's on. And there's so many. I've seen a couple big bass. So I just I want. I wish I could hook one of those big bass to show, see how big they actually are. But those are a little harder to catch. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, let me know if you've fished this area, if you've been here before, you live in the area. There's definitely people that fish here. It's such a, it's such a cool little pond, or lake, I guess it'd be a little lake, but big pond. So clear water. Um, it's got a couple of water flows coming into it. It's got all this like grass and stuff around the bottom. Just thousands and thousands of sunfish, and there's bass, and I'll drum, and other stuff. It's, it's really cool, really interesting place. I wish I could have hooked one of those bigger bass because the way those sunfish came out of there, they looked littler and, they, and they, when I held them, they were big. Those bass could have been four or five pounds. Uh, I saw a few like that, but they were, they were wondering. Couldn't get anything on the top water, tried that. But um, just get a fun time. Thanks for watching. I love exploring anything, even if it's way far away from where I live and it's just a little pond. It was a cool time to get out here and check it out. Oh man, that was a little rougher getting it back in the truck. When I got here, this gate was open, so I just pulled down there and let it out, but they locked the gate, so I don't know if you're supposed to do that or not. So I had to get my kayak up in here from the lake, so a little extra work, but it was worth it going to explore that place.